Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Besiege, episode number six. So last time on Besiege in our series, we finished off the campaign with a number of interesting vehicles, which I had a lot of fun making. And I was all set to start up the sandbox mode, but a number of you guys in the comments were suggesting, hey, why don't you try to do the whole continent with one vehicle? That might be fun. And I thought, that sounds like a nice idea. So I've come up with this thing, and it ended up kind of looking like a tow truck, even though it doesn't really, well, it kind of is a tow truck because there's a grabber on the back. It fulfills every function we're going to need. It's got, it's got uh, lots of wheels so we can drive around. It's got spinning blades of death to take care of sheep and soldiers. It's got cannons on the front which articulate up and down with via these steering hinges. It's got a catapult that shoots these exploding bombs for destroying the castles hither and thither. Uh, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go through each of the different areas. And for this first area, let's just illustrate everything. This guy can do the Ypsilon smashing tow truck of dome. So it, uh, I'm using tank tread steering style. And that is mainly to make it as stable as possible so I don't have any independently moving, articulating, rotating axles or anything like that. And I've already... Have we broken something? Yeah, it looks like something broke off. Okay, let's start again. Now, how did that break? I'm not even sure. Okay, so one of the things I've done with this design, which I think I'm going to do for every single design I ever do in the future, is I've started binding things to the number pad. And that has been a revelation. So, for instance, uh, with the exception of this, this is B and N because I ran out of th things to do on the number pad. But then I articulate this guy up and down with 6 and 3. And then I can retract him with B and N. Uh, let me shoot off the cannon. And then I rotate that down and up with 4 and 1 on the number pad to get that out of the way for the catapult, which is still L. Okay, there goes that. Now, but the best thing about this vehicle, the Ypsilon Smashing Tow Truck of Doom, is the whole thing is modular. So what I mean by that is if we don't need a certain part or function for a given challenge, I can shed them. Like a sheep shedding his skin, or like getting sheared or something. So, let's see. Let's hit uh, eight. That's going to drop the guys on the front. Oh, he can't yet because I still have the uh, the cannons. There we go. There goes those guys. Then seven and nine on the number pad. Drop these side blades. There, we're much lighter. Now we're much closer to being a tow truck of doom. Two drops off that guy. I guess the, uh, the grabber connected to that thing. Maybe I should drop the grabber first. Yeah, now we're really a tow truck of doom, but these things are breaking. And they are dropped with five, I think. All right, get off, guys. There we go. And if I could manage to get them... Let go! Hey, let go! Uh, sometimes, just because this ha this thing does have a, uh, a physics engine, things get caught. But what we're left with is a rough-and-tumble little vehicle that can conquer the, uh, the more complicated driving challenges, but apparently not <laughs> this rock. Take that! Yeah. Ish. Okay. Uh, I thought this might go a little differently than it did. Yeah, yeah, but jab, but jab. This is like your little, uh. Oh, come on. There we go. I could have just used the cannons. But we're gonna slowly, um, suffocate that cabin. Next zone. So we're gonna do each challenge with this guy. Some will be easier than others. This one is gonna be fairly easy. All right. That's the beginner one, those two. Next. All right, we've got to navigate. I don't need to know how to na use the camera. We have to navigate this minefield. Best thing to do first is to get rid of these bombs in the way. So let's back up. I'm going to shoot for that one. Lower the cannons, sir. Lower in cannons, Captain. Fire. Okay, that took care of one. Next, I want to get rid of this guy right here. And let's lower the cannons now that they're, they've been used. Get them out of the way. And fire! 
Direct miss, cap Captain! Okay, let's go around the side. That's probably easier. I don't know why you wouldn't do that to begin with. And I wonder, is there going to be a bomb in the way? It probably won't matter. We can probably just steamroll our way right on through. Okay, let's avoid the rock. Here we go. Avoid that bomb. Sir. Finished. Next zone. Hooray. Some of these will be a little bit trickier than others because we've got the three bombs. And if you don't hit the target in just the right way, you can have problems. Okay, so first off, I need to take care... Let's get a nice camera angle for the shot. I need to take care of that bum. To kill these guys. Bam! Got some. Alright. That's them. Taken care of. Let's wheel around here and see how we can demolish this thing. Spinning around, Captain. Middle mouse button. Your scroll wheel. Click it on a part and you will follow that part. Very handy. See if I can hit these from here. Hey oh! No, can't. Alright. Charge! Charge! Whoa, the camera F1. <laughs> camera freaked out. I don't know what that was about. Uh, maybe the part I had told it to follow was under the ground or something? And now I look really funny. Come on, guys. All right, we're going to get this little house sooner or later, and... hey Next! Okay, this zone should be fun, and we'll get to illustrate... We'll get to illustrate all the spinning blades. First thing I want to do is take out those stinking archers. So let's just put the camera right there, and... Let's go! Ooh, lots of lag here. I'm just rolling right through. All right, they're all dead. And then once my bombs explode, blam! All right, can I still drive at all? They're probably all gonna be on fire. Wow, the frame, three frames per second. Oh, I know what happened. It put my my game speed back up to 100%. Tell you what, let's redo that. Let's put it down to 70 or 66, close enough approximately where I had it. And there's a lot of guys running around in this one, but it, okay, yes, 30 frames per second. That's at least a little bit better. It's not 60, but what are you going to do? Indie game. <laughs> All right, got some. Now I shall fire the, the bombs. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Whatever. We did it. All right, I just need to remember to turn down the game speed for each one. Zone conquered. Okay, so this one... Turn off the tips. I don't need those. This one is actually way easier than it might seem. I don't need to use my grabber or anything like that. All I'm going to do is tilt up my cannons a bit so I can hit that. And knocks it right off. And, yeah, trick shot. Yeah, you didn't know I did trick shots, did you? All right, and then I just basically ran. Run, run into this one. That one's done. Next. Piece of cake, Admiral. Okay, so this one shoots lasers at you, and we are going to, uh, I guess, drive up to make sure. Let's see, we are pointed straight at it. I'm just going to drive up to it a little bit. Pow! Done! Oh, man, we are blowing right through all of these challenges with my 228-part contraption. Contraption? Construction? Contraption? All right, so this one, we actually have to use the cannons. And let's turn the game speed down a, just a little bit. There's nothing else moving here except for me, so I don't have to go that low. All right, cannons aren't going to do anything. Uh, let's get rid of them. Okay, disengaged. It's best to disengage those things, by the way, while you're moving. All right, we can get rid of those, and let's get rid of the grabber. And then, oh, try not to blow myself up there. Let's get rid of that. And now we're just the tow truck of doom. Whoa! Now, why did that release? This happened before. Oh, you know what? I wonder if these are bound to the wrong key. Let's do a little bit of uh, checking up on things. I bet they are. Okay, if you can highlight this. It's not entirely useful. Oh, 
Oh, I've got the grabber and the catapult bound to the same button, too. So when I'm dropping the grabber, I'm dropping the catapults. That makes sense. Okay. Let's try this again. Cannons. Ah, you're worthless. So backing up, get rid of you, and I can get rid of you. And then I just have to make sure that my grabber doesn't grab a hold of my spinning blades once I drop them. So I'm just going to wheel it out with N. And then I can drop these side blades, blam, and just try not to grab anything with my grabber. Okay, good. Lovely. Okay, <laughs> much better. Uh, mystery solved. And this catapult doesn't have the greatest range because I had to pack all that other stuff. Whoops. <laughs> That's not how you went. I had to pack all the other stuff on it, so uh, the swing arm here isn't as long as it could be, and so... Uh, Consequently, I don't ha get as much momentum out of it. All right, let's just do it this way. We don't really need to drop all that stuff off. I just like to... I like to use all the parts on the thing that I put on the thing that I've made. Next, we are in the Midlands encampment. We've got to destroy everything. we got some archers right there. Which I'm gonna freaking murder, murder face right off. I <laughs> got a bunch of them. Don't hit my... Don't hit my bombs. Don't hit the bombs. Oh, there's a cannon right there. Uh, okay, turn around, turn around, turn around. I need to shoot at these dents right here. Just keep spinning. Keep spinning, that works. Oh, I'm stuck against the wall? All right, from here should be good. And let's put down the cannons to get them out of the way of the catapults. Well, pow! Flawless victory, more or less. Look at this guy doing a little dance. They're, um... Square dancing, they're missing their fourth partner. Next area. Okay, so this one is actually a little bit tricky. Let me turn the game speed down. This one's a little tricky, but it's definitely doable. So first, let's try to do it with cannons. Oh! <laughs> Nailed it! You just, I guess the best way to do this one is try to hit it at the base. And I will do it again without the can, it's just to illustrate that it can. So what would normally happen is you wouldn't quite, or what I have had, had happen when I was testing this vehicle, is something like that, where I would not quite hit everything. So what do you have to do? You have to, because this uh, catapult has limited range, you have to get as close as possible. And let me just drop these extra parts that we don't need. And I'm going to drop the side blades, too. You have to get as close as possible. And to do that, we have to go to the back and to the left. All right, guy. Maybe I should just not bother dropping these things. It's like more trouble than it's worth. But I built it this way for one area in particular where it will be useful to not have these parts, which we will get to well, actually pretty soon. Now i got to shoot the thing basically from here. And I have to arc it just right. This is basically as close as you get. You could kind of get here, but there's a rock in the way. Either one would probably work. This one has a bigger rock on the left there. All right, here we go. Hey oh Bam! Okay, yeah, you can do it multiple ways. Next zone. All right, Highland Tower. This one is actually a little tricky because of all the arrows. And what we're going to have to do, I will kill some of the archers with my cannons. And then after that, we'll just have to try to basically luck out. All right, we've got the game speed turned down. Let's turn a little bit. Shoot them. All right. And then put that forward. And then drive upward a little bit. Yeah, okay, so that can happen... If they shoot a cannon, or one of those bombs, take that. If they shoot one of those, ow, yeah, that happens. I can hit it from this far. Okay, but let's just try it like this. Yep. Okay. Uh, this, this one is probably, I would say, by far the trickiest because of the arrow shooting my cannon. Come on. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, but well, we can do it. We're gonna do it. We'll just keep trying until it works. I wonder if I back up, if that's a strategy. 
Oh, how far can they lob their arrows? This is something I haven't... It. They can lob them a lot farther than we are from them. All right. So if I go forward, I'm almost 100% going to get hit by an arrow. Bam! Hit those guys, kill them! <laughs> All right, we were really close. Really, really close. Really close that time. Uh, basically, we just have to hit the uh, the base of the tower in a certain way that enough... Yep! Bam! There you go. You just have to hit it in the certain, in the right, uh, you know, sensitive points. The most, the most vulnerable parts. All right, so here we go. This one, we actually get to use the grabber. And let me just, let me look at the grabber V. Okay, so I can remember the hotkey for that. And let's turn down the game to about 70. All right. So, for this one, we actually, this is the only reason this thing is on here. Just to put this uh, wooden, I guess it's a wood bale. It's not a hay bale. Just to put this wood bale up on that platform. All right, mom back, mom back, mom back. And let me tilt you down. Okay, did I get it? Yeah, we got it. Awesome. All right, no problem. Now I just have to get it over there without crashing and without breaking anything. Not always as easy as it seems. There we go. That's it. Yeah, see how, <laughs> see how delicate that is? Very easy to break. Next. All right, destroy... 80% of all sheep. This one is, <laughs> this is like, oh man, we're gonna go to work with these blades. Oh gosh, oh right, 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 right. Speed, game speed, game speed. Okay, let's, because there's so many sheep, I'm gonna turn it down even more. So these guys up here, I think they're gonna get the business. And I don't have any blades on the back because there just wasn't room. Otherwise, I, I would have liked to put them there, but kind of ran out of room with this design. Okay, and... Fire! Pow! <laughs> yes! Okay, I still have the cannons as well to hit these guys over on this little platform. And this is one of the tougher ones, actually, because your, your vehicle... I almost said ship, I don't know why. It has to survive long enough. And things in Besiege aren't known for surviving. The parts are very delicate, and it, it would be a very different game if the parts were more stable. You could build maybe cooler things, I might say, but it wouldn't be as... might not be as entertaining if everything wasn't constantly falling apart. Okay, sheep. Cannon jab. Oh, I got a few of you. Nice, and I don't have any fire, actually. Uh, let's get rid of all this stuff that we don't need. And grabber, don't grab anything. Oh, I, I got rid of the grabber. All right. We're kind of close, though. And then let me just mosey on over, killing the rest of these sheep that are over here. Oh, gosh, I'm stuck on something. But killing the rest of these sheep should be fine. Oh, there we go. All right, we're free. We're, well, in a manner of speaking. There we go. We did it. We barely survived, but we did it. Okay, so this zone here, Marksman's Pass, is why I made this guy as modular as he is. This is the reason, so that I could drive up there with the minimum of fuss, no fuss, no muss. All right, here we go. Oh, right, let's turn down game speed first thing. I wish it would just keep it where you put it. That would be handy for a future patch. Pa pow there's all the bad guys, okay. I don't think there's any more archers, and let me just get rid of that as well. And then let's get rid of all this stuff. And let's see if I can get out from under all of it and not have any of it be dragging behind me. Yeah, I'm definitely dragging apart. Alright. Uh, if I can get unstuck from these stinking... Uh, hmm... Maybe in the future I'll make a whole platform that can slide off instead of just a bunch of individual decouplers. That might work a little bit more better, but 
A little bit more better? A little bit better. I don't need more in there. Better is already a superlative. There we go! Okay, so I think this is it. This is the last area, isn't it? And we've got to kill some soldiers, and then the castle, and then we're done. Okay. That was kind of easy. Thought it'd be hard. Nope. Not hard. <laughs> There's all the soldiers. They're all dead. Well, except... For, yep. Okay, now they're all dead. Well, one more. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Take that. All right, then we need to use the bombs in a very specific manner. Uh, the cannon's not going to do anything. Let's get rid of the cannon. Goodbye, cannon. And I don't need this thing, which is barely working anymore. We're just, we just need the, uh, let's see, what am I trying to do here? We just need the, the bombs at the back. And so this thing, I think to explode it the best, I want to shoot at it in this direction. I want to hit the base of this tower and have the, uh, the center of my blast be in the middle. So the radius can hopefully hit as many of those walls as possible. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of these side blades. I don't really need to get rid of them. I just kind of like doing it. I like that I designed my vehicle in this way. So as often as possible, I like to drop the parts off. Oh, gosh! That was not according to plan. Holy moly. I may have just set like a distance record or something. How far away? Okay, maybe not a distance record. Let's try again. All right, guys. You're all gonna die. Okay, you're all dead. Get rid of you, and you. Awesome. All right, let's not drop those parts. How about that? We don't need to drop the, sp the spinning side blades. Ooh, I've already lost, dang it, I've already lost one of these. Why did you come off? You should not have been connected. <laughs> Let me check the key binds, it's really, it's actually really hard to see anything like that. The one that came off was this one. Yeah, I definitely didn't hit that button. So, I don't know if, I don't know why that happened. Maybe the part just broke from uh, normal stresses that the game likes to do. I wonder if there's like a, a derp factor where it's just like, all right, something hasn't broken in 30 seconds. Oh, I didn't hit the button for that. The whole thing just dis, what's going on? I didn't hit the button for that to get knocked off yet. The derp factor is full. All right, uh, goodbye you, goodbye you. Lovely. All right, now, no more shenanigans. Let's just, whoa, why are you jumping up and down so much? What's under here? Oh, I'm running over a dude. That's why everything is so insane. Go away, Blade, go away, go away. All right, let's just drive over here. Let me middle click on there so we follow that. <laughs> Dude's spinning like like mad. All right, here we go. This is the last objective. We can surely do this. Maybe we can do some donuts as we shoot it. That would be funny. That would be awesome. It wouldn't even be funny, it'd just be awesome. And we have to get the right angle and distance. Yep, just like this. Here we go. Damn it! Not even close! Man, I... Okay, I need to get even closer. <laughs> this is more fun if, uh, if it takes me a bunch of tries. We get to see all these guys splat over and over again. And let me get rid of that and tuck it down. Maybe we'll just try the cannon from here. I mean, we could, uh, I just wanted to drive the thing around, to be honest. We could just shoot the cannon from here. Or the catapult, rather, not the, not the can. Here we go. Hey-oh! Yeah, that, that didn't work either. Maybe I, okay, I t <laughs> Revision number seven. We do actually need to drive it around. I'm not just making that up. Okay, let's get rid of that. Are they all dead? Okay, and let's follow this part. And let's get rid of these parts we don't need because they will, uh, they're making our vehicle longer. And I want to get as close to this other wall as possible. Oh, I really shouldn't have gone through this section. I should have gone around all that stuff. Now I'm breaking parts galore, aren't I? Whole thing's gonna explode. No, no, no. Oh, God. Wow. If we can actually make it over there, I will be amazed. But I basically, no, I don't, 
think it's gonna happen. Oh god. Wow, I'm still driving. Seriously? Uh, I... What? How is this not exploded yet? I've only got two wheels left. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. This, this is the time. This is the attempt. It's my own dumb fault for trying to uh, run over my discarded parts. That's a bad... Wow. I ran him into the uh, the little cottage so fast he died. All right. Discard these. Nothing break. Don't run over anything. We want smooth, flat ground. Avoid that stuff that's spinning around. Okay, everything so far so good. We're in the clear. Let's follow that part. And this time I'm going to line it up really nicely. And uh, this, this is the time. This is it. Right here. Here we go. Here we go. Carefully break the hut so I can get closer. Yep. All right, here we go. Oh, bam. Here we go. Yep. Pow! We <laughs> All right, we did it. Awesome. Next zone. Oh, that's it. Right, okay, we conquered everything. So that was fun, uh, conquering everything with the Ypsilon smashing tow truck of doom. And next time, because we didn't do it this time, next time we'll mess around with sandbox. Sandbox? Is it sandbox mode? With the, uh, the flying parts, which I haven't touched at all yet. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. See you later. Bye-bye.